Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we are unboxing Far Cry Escape from Rook Islands. Now, this is uh, for 60 or 60 to 90 minutes for one to four players, ages 14 plus. Over on Board Game Geek, there's not really enough data from people voting on this game yet for me to get any information on what the community thinks uh, is a good recommendation for these stats. Many tried to leave Rook Islands. The few who did have been changed forever. During your Southeast Asian vacation, you and your friends accidentally landed on Vas Montenegro's turf, and he ain't crazy about it. Can you leave this exotic yet treacherous land in one piece? Through story-driven missions and open-world explorations, you'll improve your character and your ability to fight with the ultimate goal of completing the game's campaign and escape Rook Islands. Now, I don't know how closely this is based on any of the games. From my understanding, each of the games is kind of its own story. I played the very first Far Cry, and I think that's the only one I've ever played. So. All right, so here's the rule book. It's a pretty thick rule book. I wonder, it looks like some of this is gonna be missions though. All right, so here you've got the components. Game setup starts on page seven. And inventory, so I guess inventory management is gonna be an important piece here. So the rules really start on page eight. Flow of the game, repeatable actions, limited actions, unique actions, combat, managing enemies, insanity, talents, exploration tracks, the anecdote factory, okay. Some mission briefings will instruct you to prepare a random event that can happen anytime during the mission. That's interesting. Then we get into glossary, general concepts, precisions. Okay, so I think, looks like from page 8 to 25 is the main chunk of the rules. Oh, so this is the bad guy. This isn't you. This is, that's the big bad. Okay. And we've got mission zero, mission one. So how many missions do we have here? Looks like seven missions included. All right. Got some custom dice here. Oh, you know what? Let's keep this out. For the components. So some of these dice have like reticles on them. In fact, most of them look like they have reticles and then the blue dice here have some shields on them. Got some different color stands here. Green, blue, yellow, red cubes. Does it say what they're for? Just 24 wooden cubes. So you have got lots of bags for organization. I love that. That's a ton of bags there. That's great. So this looks something to do with the missions. Four double-sided round track. Okay, so these are the round trackers. Okay. Seven double-sided mission boards. Yeah, okay. Now, are that really is the board. Oh, wow. That's it. So that's very interesting. Okay. 
I know that for like the war game community, or, or even I believe some of the the eighteen XX community, having boards like this is not unheard of. But it's pretty rare in the board, like the the regular kind of uh, board game community, to see that. Trying to see, I'm guessing that some of these hook together. Yeah, like here you go. Yeah, those two go together like that. And then like these two. Interesting. Wow, that's very interesting. So these are obviously going to be, you can see the punch out right there. So these are going to be dials of some sort. Ah, right here, right here. So, yeah, you can see, obviously, those are going to be dials that go, I guess, this is your sanity and then maybe your health over here. Yeah, this is your health. Uh, no, this is, wait, hold on, C is, move, so this is movement points, and this is health, actually. Okay. All right, well, we've got Jason. It's falling right out, like, it's punching out real easy. Liza. Daisy. Keith. Does everybody have the same stats? Looks like they do. I don't see any differences. That's okay. Why? Unless there's some cards or something that provide the differences. Oliver and Riley. All right, and then we've got. Oh, okay. Look, so this is this is for managing your inventory if you have a heavy duty rucksack, all right? Versus down here, you've got a double backpack holster, a rugged rucksack, a belt holster, a backpack holster. Simple rucksack. That's pretty cool. I do like that sort of inventory management going on there. That kind of brings something that you see in video games in where you've got different bags, bag sizes to be able to handle different stuff, different ways of carrying your equipment. Silver Dragon, Voss, Ink Minions. There's Voss again. Grant. Oh, that's a uh, that's actually an ally. Wild animal, wild leopard, shadow Voss. Interesting. There's the pins to keep those um, the the dials together. And some more punch boards here. Oof. Very cool. Okay, and oh, there's all the standees. Okay. I like the art in this a lot. I'm questioning some of the component decisions, and, and also I'm really curious to see if there's a difference and the characters. All right, so we've got items here, such as endorphin boost, medicine, fireproof balm, sharpshooter elixir, nature boy, sprint burst. 
And then we've got some Insanity cards. Okay. Secret location. Sacred Temple, Pirate's Camp, Bear's Den. And here are exploration cards. Patrol, Campfire, Komodo Dragon, Plant Spot, Hidden Sinkhole, Rakyat Totem. All right. Base camp, anecdote. It's like almost quiet. So that's anecdote when, anecdote where, anecdote what. Ooh, a wild leopard. All right. And then a few more cards, and that's that's it. So these are. Weapon mods. Extended magazine, high power scope, optical sight, red dots, red dot sight. For weapons, we've got 1911, D50, fist punch, Z93, machete. MP5, Recurve Bow, Spaz 12, U100, Vector 45 ACP. Got some talents here. Potion Potency, May I, First Aid, Blood Rage, Stonewall, Archery Expert, Knife Artist. And then, looks like the last thing we got here are, oh, well, there's some more items and two missions, actually. Machine Gun, Wrathbringer, maybe those are mission items or something. Along those lines, and we've got Sprint Burst, Grenade, ooh, Grenades, Molotovs, mine, nice. But yeah, that is everything that comes in the box for Far Cry, Escape from Rook Islands. Be sure to come back. We will do either a gameplay or a how to play of this game. So be sure to come back and check that out in the relatively near future. We've also got how to play Kingdom Death Monster Gambler's Chess expansion coming up as the next instructional video we're filming. And we also have how to play Dungeon Universalis Part 4 coming up real soon. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.